What's going on everybody? The wait is finally over. I have done the simple hunger system. I've had a few requests and now it is here. So your first step is you're going to go and you're going to either go online or personally I went into Acebrite and you are going to make as as long as you want your hunger bar to be. I chose four to make it simple. You can have it up to ten or whatever. This is just a simple way of doing it. So I made four steaks and I have another picture with three steaks, another picture with two steaks, another picture with one steak. All right, so you import those into your game through a folder here. You click pictures, import, then you go and you find your folder with your images that you have in it, and you import them in. And now I go up into common events and I make first, the hunger drain which the weight here depends on how fast you want the hunger to drain so I made hunger drain I set the parallel yeah the trigger is parallel so it runs automatically and it doesn't uh, keep me from doing anything else and I have a switch called hunger on I made this switch you just click and make so I made the switch hunger on so you wait 300 frames then control variable so you would make a control variable you would click control variables and you would make it just like I made the uh, switch and so I have a variable called hunger I set it at a hundred that's what I set it as but for this part of the hunger drain you're waiting a certain amount of time then you want your hunger to drain so you go to subtract I have four meats so I did it in increments of 25 I set my top variable to 100 and subtracted 25 each time so I said subtract a constant of 25 and then you hit OK so that brings us up then I copied this pasted it here copied this just copied and pasted both of that four times so it takes all of my hunger down on my hunger system I have hunger system trigger is also parallel and it also relies on the hunger on switch so I made a con uh, conditional branch an if branch and I said my variable hunger not my switch my variable hunger if that is equal to 100 and I said create an else branch so if hunger is equal to 100 show picture and to find show picture you hit new go to the second the pictures down here and you click show picture so I grab my hunger bar image the fourth one the top one that's full because it's at a hundred percent right now and this is a good spot for it I put uh, direct designation center origin x25 y65 it's a good spot it's gonna put it right in the corner up here in the blend mode is normal normal I didn't mess with any of these settings okay so I said we create an else branch right here that's checked so since I said that we have this else branch here so if hunger is at a hundred then show picture and then else if it's not at a hundred if hunger is at 75 show picture and this one is just you guessed it same it's my three now but it's the same with everything else the only thing I changed was the picture and then on that if else I put on else again show picture if hunger is at 50 edit my hunger bar two picture and then at this point I guess you can probably guess it on the else if it's a 50 or else if it's not if it's at 25 then we have show picture hunger bar one and then I started a shake screen here so when you start to get to where you're about to starve the screen starts to shake this is optional you don't have to add this you can do anything to any of these but I added this in just as a kind of little uh, nifty trick to show you what you could do with it and then else if hunger is not at 25 and if hunger is at zero completely erase picture one that's all these pictures 
shake the screen. So it's going to shake the screen real hard. Then it's going to flash the screen. So uh, shake screen, I'll show you. It's under two, under the screen section, shake screen and flash screen. So I shake the screen real hard and then I flash the screen. I just, I just did new flash screen and I chose this because this is like white. And then a text, show text. You have starved to death. And then game over. And game over is under three, under scene control, game over. And that is all that is. And you have the hunger drain, went over that. And now up here in the corner of my first map that I start on, whatever I, wherever I want to start, I'm putting this right here. It's an event, and I call it initialization. Now this event auto runs, so I can't do anything else until this event is done. But it's fairly quick. It just turns my, it sets, ugh, sets my hunger variable to 100. So that's variable hunger set constant at 100. And to do that, you go on to 1, and you click control variable hunger set constant, and you type in 100. And then it turns my hunger switch on, which if you remember, the hunger system and the hunger drain both only activate if this switch hunger on is turned on. So this turns the hunger on. It sets the hunger to 100, turns it on. And since it's auto run, I can't do anything until this gets off this page and onto this page which has nothing on it. So I turn control self switch B on, which this page is marked self switch B. So when I say self switch B goes on, it automatically switches to this page. And to do that, you go new control self switch and you choose A, B, or C, whatever page you want to flip to. And I chose B. So let's see this in action. And I like I said again, the wait on it, the amount of time you have to wait for the hunger to go down, it's low right now just so I can show you without it taking forever. But you can add as many weights in as you want to make it as long as you want for each hunger to go down. See, now we're down to two. Now we're down to one. Now also, I just want to show you, if I save and I end the game, come back in. Oh, 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 I had to load it to title. Come back in. We're still at one here. And also, I walked out too soon. Too late. Also, if I switch maps, I'm still in the same spot. It hasn't changed. So I'll starve to death soon now. And there you go. Flash the screen. It stopped shaking. It says you have starved to death. Probably should have centered it. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Pretty simple and pretty easy. It's powerful what you could do with this thing if you know what to do and where to look. So I know this has been requested a lot, and I just want to take the time tonight to sit down and flesh this out and get a bare bones basic uh, blueprint in your hand of how to make a basic hunger system. And then you can go ahead yourself and expand on that and make it your own. Uh, make it fit the needs of your game. But thank you for watching. I hope this worked for you. I hope this is what you were looking for. Uh, thank you for the support. Trick Ghoul, out.